talking about concert, you talking bro. about we talking about Bob Supreme. Yes, I did see you at the concert, bro. Like I looked at you, it was no point of me speaking to you. I don't like you. You don't like me. What am I finna say to you? What's up, Bob? I don't want to do you nothing, but Bob. then y'all seen each other on the on, on my, my podcast. podcast. That's y'all exactly. Was, Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. This now you saying this? That's like if I man, it's just like okay, like a nigga come on here and say something about me just because on another interview I done said something about him. Like that's a fact. That happened. That did happen. And they came on this whole cap. Like I seen Terry walking. Like bro, <laughs> you seen me walking at a concert? Wait a minute. Like, yeah, wait I did see you, you at the concert. You talking bro. about? We talking about Bob Supreme? Yes, I did see you at the concert, bro. Like I, I looked at you. It was no point of me speaking to you. I don't like you. You don't like me. What am I finna say to you? What's up, Bob? I don't want to do you nothing, but Bob. then y'all seen each other on the on, on my the podcast. Platform. That's y'all, exactly you had him on your exactly. platform. Exactly, like, but I don't. It just come down to I don't fuck with Why him. Why did you have him on the platform if you don't? Man, that's wrong. beasy. That's beasy. Like, hey, bro. Like, I say, you know what? Fuck it, bro. I I'll do it because I don't like the nigga. I don't like the nigga. He know I don't like him. He don't like me. Yeah, but so, y'all, y'all was on there together. It was cool, and I told him what my problem with you was. Nigga, you lied and said I tried to talk to your wife or whatever the fuck you said. I don't even know your wife or ex-wife. I don't know this lady. I've never seen her. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what that's the crazy. fuck you talking about. Like, you, that's just a dry lie. Like, and you got people thinking all kind of shit that's not just not true. Like, how he came on this whole, like, yeah, I seen him walking. Like, nigga, what? Nigga, yeah. I heard you got a ride here. You know what I'm saying? You caught a ride here. So what the fuck you talking about? Why right, the fuck you worried about what I drive? Caught a, caught a ride to the to the boss talk to do that interview. You no. caught a ride with another nigga. Did, no, no, yeah, he can't he, drove. he didn't come with Johnny D. No, he did, didn't come with Johnny no, D. No, Johnny they DMD didn't, didn't come didn't with they leave Supreme. Separate. I think left. I don't know if they left. Oh, man, they probably, I know Johnny no. Damn D stayed and did a skit with us, and it's coming out. Yeah, and and somebody right. wants to go get some food or some shit. I don't, I don't know. know I don't. I didn't know what car yeah, because I, I didn't. Say, I don't hey, be paying attention I, to the I, cars. I, just, like I don't know. I don't hey, know. You know who came with somebody, my man, nigga, bro? I just be people talk. Damn. So why the fuck you talking about me and what I drive and you roll with somebody? That's you got a ride here. I didn't know. Did you know it was? It was nobody here. Two people here. Well, shit. us two and, and I mean, us three and them, shit. them two. That was so me. they would have had to tell him they exactly. Self. Somebody had to tell themselves. Hey, somebody told on themselves. I know for a fact niggas don't have cars though. <laughs> niggas, Damn. So you saying shit. that you saying Supreme don't have a car? I don't know what. It, I just know niggas don't have cars. I don't know what Supreme got. I can't speak for what that nigga got. I don't know. But why he speaking on what I got? He don't know me. Wow, niggas emotional. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what he got. I can't say what he got. I don't know. Shit. But I mean, how did y'all ever get sideways? Because you and him, bro, we don't even know you each are, other. You want, sto- you want another story? Yeah, why give me the reason up? why. Okay, he had a, he was he was uh he was managing Swerve Lord. Okay, Swerve Lord was his artist. I like Swerve Lord music. I reached out to Swerve Lord like, hey, matter of fact, I was finna do a list. I never put Swerve Lord on the list, so I reached out to him and said, bro, I told him I was gonna put him on the list. I ain't put him on it. We did a whole nother list. I hit him up like, hey, bro, let's do an interview. I, I fuck with your music. Let's do an interview. I pulled up on them far. They was far in Fort Worth, southwest side somewhere, Fort Worth. Pull up on them. We do the interview. It's Von D, Supreme, Swerve Lord. Von D is an R&B artist that Supreme also used to manage Von D hard. Anyways, I'm talking to them niggas. I'm like, Swerve Lord, I got SoundCloud. My SoundCloud doing numbers. Millions of views on SoundCloud. Millions of views. I'm telling Swerve Lord, like, hey, bro, let's do a Dallas Global tape. I'm dropping on my SoundCloud. It's probably going to get you some streams, get you some more recognition. My shit going crazy. Just give me some songs that you got in the, on the tuck. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to give me your hardest songs or whatever. Just give me some songs to put out because I fuck with your music. It's going My SoundCloud going dumb. You probably can go up. Cool. We do the. I take the picture. I hit my partner to do the graphic. He do the graphic. It take him some time to do the graphic. Keep in mind, I talk to Supreme. I talk to Swerve Lord. They give me the songs they want to give me. We talk about it. I'm telling them, like, yeah, bro, I already got the songs. I already got the music. I leave. Cool. I go to New Orleans. My little brother died. I'm at my little Tell brother. I'm at my little brother's funeral. My partner sent me the graphic, like, hey, it's done. So I reach out to Bob Supreme. And I'm like, hey, the graphic done. I'm finna post this on my SoundCloud. Supreme hit me up like, nah, we need some of them songs. Like, we go just swear, Lord, finna drop a tape. We go drop it on that project. I'm telling them like, damn, bro, we already agreed on these songs. You know what I'm saying? I tell them like, hey, bro, that's cool. I'll take them songs off. What songs you tell me to take off, I'll take them off. But I'm not finna do no business with you no more. Like, cause it's fucked up. Like, off the rip, I'm leaving my brother fuel. I'm texting this nigga like, hey, bro, you doing bad business. I don't, I'm not fucking with that. I'm not fucking with you no more on no business type level. Cause this is like, come on, bro. We didn't already agreed on this shit. 
It's seven songs, by the way. Maybe less. It's probably like five songs. I told him, like, whatever. So, cool. We go forward. It's just like, Suprema hit me up. Asked for free shit. Like, hey, what did this? Did it this? It's an artist from Mississippi. Some nigga, I don't even remember nigga name. Hey, post this for me. I said, hey, this the price. He like, what's the Supreme price? I'm like, nigga, what? The Supreme price is the price. What you talking about? You know what I'm saying? So, it go from that. He feeling some type of way about that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he managing K Breezy. Niggas don't know. I, I did used to talk to Supreme on the phone. He'd be telling like, what you think about this? What you think about that? I'd be like, hey, I like this artist. I think this artist missing this. I think this they missing this. You like, I'm finna start. Uh, so you feel like K-Breezy. he was getting your opinion on different things to tap. We just having a conversation. I ain't gonna say he like he probably just wants to know what I think as a blogger or as a blogger or yeah. whatever. You know what I'm saying? But we did have conversation. Okay. Uh, one day some just I don't even remember what happened where it just went left again. Cause I'm like, bro, this nigga just not right. Like something about that nigga just not right. Like. He ain't no good nigga to me. Like it's just something that just always go left. Was it just you felt that way? I, that's how. That's my. I feel about the nigga. He ain't good. Did he do anything to make? He you? did something. He, he always do something, the bro. Fuck, the nigga man. always do something. Like it, it's always something, bro. Like it's always something with that but nigga. But you like, can't even remember what it was. To be honest, at that point, I really don't remember what it was. I really don't remember. But the clubhouse shit come around. And then he started coming telling niggas like, yeah, you hit my wife up. And I'm like, nigga, who the fuck is your wife? Like, why the fuck would I hit your wife up out of like, for what? Like, I ain't know, nigga, you was married. Like, the fuck? Like, I, when I met you, you ain't say you, I'm married and I have, I seen the son. So you never been to his house? I was at somebody's house. I don't know if it was his mama's house or something like in Fort Worth. I don't know who house that was. It was some apartment in Fort Worth. I don't know. Damn. But I've never met his wife, though. So for him to just start that rumor was just like crazy to me. That's why when he came to the podcast, I'm like, bro, like, nigga, you like you got me fucked I up with that, that shit. It seemed like, like he got a little ten, little tension, bro. I don't like him. He don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't That's like why him. I couldn't understand how y'all ended up Man, in the same Beezy, damn Beezy room like, bro, I, Cause I told Beez, I said, bro, I should spaz when I see this nigga right. Like, just really get on his ass, like for real. Be like, bro, please, bro, please don't do that, bro. Please, bro, just chill, bro. He was like, bro, bro, come on, bro, like, do the pod. He must like, he like him then. Beezy, talk to Bob Supreme. He be talking to the nigga. Like, Beezy go keep a cool head. He go look at it from all angles. Like, me, I be like, fuck that shit. He go come back and be like, hey, nah, bro, you probably should think about it like this, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? He go tell me some a different perspective. Like a good friend. He gonna tell me a different perspective. Like I'll go off the deep end. I'll be like, I'll be ready to say fuck some shit. Like he like, seem nah. like a seem like a good friend. Nah, That's facts. the type of person gonna, you want to be around. He gonna keep he gonna keep it honest with me. Like, hey, yeah, bro, I feel like you really just went over deep, but it's good. But you know what I'm saying? You you probably should have said it a different way. Like a lot of people tell me I say shit when I say shit, it be coming out. You know what I'm saying? It just be blunt. Like oh, I get the same shit. It just be it just be. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how else to say it though. It's like, damn, what you want me to bullshit with you? I feel like I'm fake for that. Like, if I ain't say how I'm really feeling, if I just kept hot, it make you feel like a hoe. Yeah, like if I just because if I don't like something and I go like I leave and be like, damn, I ain't like that shit. But I ain't tell you I ain't like it. Like you'll be like, damn, that's some like damn, that's fake ass shit. But if I be like, nigga, you did that shit, I don't like that shit. You gonna be like, okay, shit, he ain't like that. You gonna know how I feel about the situation. You know what I'm saying? And then you can go from, you can say, hey, I don't like this nigga or whatever you say. You know but what I'm saying? Don't you but know people change and you have to forgive. People do man. change. You can't just, you know, maybe people the change. man can change. That's cool. I hate when people just put people in boxes. They go both ways. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like people whenever, whoever, change, man. Why do I have to fuck with you just because you changed? No, I ain't saying that you got to, but it's, it's ways to get past stuff. I'm man. past it. I'm cool. Like I just so have to You would never that. sit down with him and be like, man, you know what? Let's just squash well, the beat. We didn't sit down already. Like it was supposed to be, it was. Did y'all cool. say y'all squashed it at the I end? I still ain't shake his hand. He was like, damn, bro, you didn't shake. I don't want to shake your hand, bro, because that's fake. That's damn. That's fake, bro. Like if I really sit here and shake your hand, and I really just don't fuck with you like you that. You agree with that? No, that's I'm fake as hand. hell. I'm shaking his hand. Let him know I don't fuck with you. I'm, what do we gotta shake hands no, for? We ain't gotta touch, bro. That's like how I am. I'm go gonna your way. You know. Go your way. I'm gonna go my way. Shit, I ain't gotta shake your hand, nigga. I just don't fuck with you. Like we ain't gotta so do that. Go. I'm a great hand, pull you in close. I don't fuck with you still, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, <laughs> that's crazy. That's just giving a nigga too much energy. Now that nigga hates you now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, fuck that nigga. He just he said, he said really now. just told me that. Like, I'm just like, bro, like, come on. So, dude. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.